Uh, as a part of Sony's State of Play digital presentation, Square Enix unveiled Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade, an upgraded PlayStation 5 version of last year's title. Uh, Intergrade is set to improve... Is set to imp- provide improved textures, lighting, atmosphere, exactly. fog, no, resolution, <laughs> frame rates, as well as a brand new photo mode and dual sense functionality. Uh, Square Enix has stated that PS4 oh. owners of the original will be able to upgrade to the PS5 version for free. Apparently, there's a bit of a confusion where if you have the PlayStation Plus version that's available, I believe it's, it's next month, which is basically tomorrow. Um, if you want to get the DLC, you still have to you have to pay for like the full package. It's, it's, a, it's a weird deal. That's, that's not all ironed out. Uh, but uh, the most alluring part of the revamp package is the addition of a new episode that takes place during the events of the remake starring Yuffie Kisaragi, a, uh, in the context of the, the trailer, a Materia Hunter and Wu Tai government elite special forces operative. Uh, this is a big change from her appearance within the original game because she was a completely optional party member that you could completely avoid, never even know that she existed. Uh, and she didn't even appear until after the party left Midgar. So the fact that she's already in this portion of the game is already pretty big divergence. Um, let alone that her background in the original game is that she was a Wu Tai princess kind of turned rogue materia thief who just kind of goes around stealing your shit. It's a big nuisance. Um, but some of the juicier details, I know particularly, at least for me and Sarah. Okay, is, but can um, I just say really quick, uh, no, no, Dirge of Serpent's no, no, game no, fucking no, rise no, up. We'll, no, get no, we'll get there. We'll, we'll, we'll get there, Sarah. We'll get there. I promise. We'll I'll get there. There. I will not you gotta wait. end this podcast without covering yep. it. I promise. Yep. yep. <laughs> you gotta wait. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, <laughs> the juiciest detail is, um, from the last wave of enemies that you and your companions come across, it's the uh, a top secret Shinra army called Deep Ground that wasn't introduced until the series until 2006's Dirge of Cerberus, which currently still remains at the absolute tail end of the compilation of Final Fantasy VII timeline. Um, the trailer also ends by showing the army's leader, uh, Weiss, who was, um, who was alive and well at the very end of Dirge of Cerberus. So... I. I know we're going to get into this particular part right now. This but means it, it is, my is going belief. to be in Final Fantasy yes. VII Remake yes. at some point. Gax character Gax. Justice not, is going to be. Let's be clear. Not like a character that you know, looks like Gax or Gact. No, no, no. no literally, literally Gax is going to be in the game. Because that was oh, the I'm end so of Dirge excited. of Cerberus. I'm I've watched, so, um, I'm so I watched Mr. Clemson's like, video on it and I couldn't oh my God. it when I finished People it. don't understand. So we get it. Dirge of Cerberus wasn't wait. great. Let, let me elaborate on this part real quick. So at the end of Dirge of Cerberus, uh, Weiss is still alive. Genesis is still alive, who didn't previously show up in Dirge of Cerberus. He was in um, Crisis, Crisis Core. Core. So they're still alive and well up to go do some evil shit. So along with all the other stuff that's already happening in Final Fantasy VII Remake with Sephiroth changing the timeline, it seems pretty damn obvious to me that the fact that Weiss and Genesis are still alive at the end of Dirge of Cerberus is just like, they're probably very intrinsically tied into all this fucking nonsense. The, the, I say nonsense in the most loving way possible. They're <laughs> intrinsically tied up in all the fucking nonsense in the in the entire remake. Just can we? Can I please? Can I please finally speak? Let's Sarah go you first. Dirge of I'm, I'm going to bring us back down. <laughs> Dirge of Cerberus was a very bad game that I loved <laughs> growing game. up. Yeah, but we all, but, but like him and I love it. We adore it. I am just like I literally. You can you can talk to my significant other. I was on the phone with him when this when this happened, and I literally screamed, "That's the fucker from Dirge of Cerberus!" Because I'd forgotten his name. And he went, "Really?" I was like, "Yes!" Like Nomura is doing it, and you, yes, Nomura is not directing this DLC. He has gone on record saying he has too many projects he has to do. Yeah, so he's not doing part two either, if I recall. So he's like, so he's. A, so he's like, back it up. But the fact that Nomura did not forget about Dirge of Cerberus, and he is like bringing back like deep deep ground, which I guess was I, so. I actually googled it because a friend had said that deep ground was already in the Final Fantasy VII remake. It was, and it and, it, and like yeah, like basically, there's an NPC that you can talk to who like mentions this like uh, this like rumor of this underground lab and then you actually go to that lab and supposedly that's a deep ground lab even though i don't remember the it game is, ever it that. is very heavily hinted to be that yeah so I like can't think of already, anything else that it could be otherwise it yeah be and like it. me too after reading that i'm like oh okay that makes sense that that was deep deep like deep deep ground but like at the same time the fact that namora is just like don't worry guys we're bringing in everything and just push it dirt to surface which was such a weird fucking game to be with and had like weird like 
Kingdom Hearts enemies that weren't Kingdom Hearts enemies at the time. Well, like, it had been you know, ignored like, by by Square Enix for like basically ever since it came out. Like it was never mentioned whatsoever. It was like so granted, weird. like it was a third person shooter. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like granted, like yes, it was at the end of the timeline, so it's kind of hard to bring it up in earlier instances. But yeah, like well, basically yeah, everyone had children, like had like right? chalked it off. That yeah, Avengers so was, was before. Children. That was before. The one thing, the one thing I will say really, really quick, Blaine, is that I hope that this means we're getting Vincent at the end of Yuffie's can't like story. Because yeah, be cool. Vincent Vincent was also a, an optional party member. You didn't have to get him. But the fact that like they're making Yuffie such an important character and they're bringing it in back at Dirge of Cerberus stuff when she was in Dirge of Cerberus and that cute like um and oh, that no. cute uh uh poncho was her poncho from Dirge of Cerberus, like the exact same the one. Google poncho. Yeah. And it's like the fact that they're bringing so much Dirge of Cerberus back. And she was in Dirge Cerberus, and she played a big part in it. Vincent, they have to bring Vincent in by the end, of I, it, or tease the I'd fact. I'd be surprised that he's going if they end. didn't I'm, either bring him in to tease, or like I don't know, just something. Or, I, or, or I, don't, just I don't think Especially he's going White to. Is there. I don't think. Why don't you think uh, they're going to? Because he's still being a little freaking uh, emo boy over in Nibelheim. It wouldn't make sense for him to be there. Like, okay, you, like she, no she was traveling the world. Being in mid, mid but she, she, she no was already traveling. The, she was already traveling the world. I'd say that's a much easier bridge to gap in terms okay, of. Okay, but why would you also put a bunch of Dirge of Cerberus like instrumental plot elements, including Weiss, and not put Vincent? Because they it? were technically already there in the first place. Still, like, when wrong, we're just teasing so much but, Dirge of Cerberus stuff, it would be absolutely stupid for them not to tease Vincent somehow. At, at, at I, will, I, will make, I will make this bet. I don't think or, Vincent's going to be there. Or, or, or show that giant, like, wasn't he also trapped in Crystal when his girlfriend wasn't trapped in Crystal? Like, no, I don't know. No. It's, no. I don't know. Dirge of Cerberus is a fucking blur to me, but all that I ask is that Vincent comes back and and Steve and Steve Bloom voices him again because I will be very Steve disappointed if they don't do that. I know, which makes me really sad. If if I'm wrong, I will not make a pun on the podcast for a month. Yeah, you're you're that's a lie, but sure, okay. Scale, if, but if I if, but if I'm right, you have to dab. Ooh. I'll just do it now to make you feel better. I'll I'll, I'll need an entire month's worth. No, just it's, just it's honestly to me, it's the whole fact that that Nomura or that whoever's working on the game is like, don't worry, guys, we didn't forget Dirge of Cerberus when it's been like 10 plus years. And we're like, yeah, that's cool. Like, good to know that you guys didn't forget about this weird as fuck Final Fantasy game. And Gax was there, too. <laughs> but um, g- going back to the actual DLC, just like as a piece of like added content, like I- I've already platinumed. Final Fantasy 7 Remake, and I like the hard mode is such a freaking pain in the ass, especially those challenges, getting the platinum and whatnot. But I will more than I'm more than happy to jump into the PS5 version just because it's going to oh, look I'm, better, it's going to oh, play so better. Play it again. Um, but like, absolutely, the most appealing part of this package isn't necessarily even just that additional episode. It's the fact that they're going full ham into the fucking crazy bullshit with a remake. Like, em- like embrace mm-hmm. Like, the original game already exists. Go fucking weird with it. Like, mm-hmm. I loved all the divergences they made with remake. So, just keep doing that. I'm, I'm happy. And middle school me's like, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Middle, like, middle school me lost her shit. Like, as soon as I saw Weiss, I was like, no fucking way. Can I bounce something critical off of what Jose just said? Yes. So... Uh, number one, I yeah, I agree with Sarah that just because I remember when that when he showed up in the trailer, I remember tweeting, and I'm pretty sure I'm quoting myself. Did anyone else see that white haired asshole? Yeah, um, <laughs> it's like oh no, he's back. I, I, was just, I, I didn't. Know I think you need some commas in that sentence. Man. Who's it's the one that that. stood in front of the mirror and said Weiss's name three times, and he appeared? Oh my god. Um, oh, I, I was listening to a podcast. I was actually talking about this earlier. Uh, much love to uh, Ben Hansen from MinMax. But like when I'm listening to a podcast, is someone like mispronouncing a name repeatedly? And I, I just cringe. I'm just like, eh. uh, they were saying Weiss for the record. Oh, oh I hate it. Uh, love you, Ben. People say Jotaro so many times. Okay. But my critical thing. Um, I was, I mean, I was happy to get more news on the Final Fantasy VII remake. But the night was actually more so bittersweet for me than anything because 
the fact that they have this new version coming out that is either that is going to include the DLC if you buy it new, or if you free upgrade, you can buy it separately. But so far, as far as we know, you cannot buy it on PS4. Um, the re the release of um, the Battle Royale First Soldier and the release of Ever Crisis, which I think is is a neat idea, but all these things combined just made me come to the realization that any doubts I had that this was this was not going to be Square Enix just trying to milk every single fucking dollar they can out of the Final Fantasy VII remake that this is more or less them going Kingdom Hearts with it. How many different platforms can we put it on? How many different things can we make? How many like different ways can we get money out of people? And I'm not going to say it's depressing me. I'm just kind of... I'm a little disappointed that I didn't even get to get to get to see part two come out and see what they were going to do with the story before I got that confirmation of, yeah, no, this is really... Uh, <laughs> It's it's like how I'm sorry I know I'm rambling a little bit but like it's it's like how um, you had people saying when the part when it got broken up as Midgar was just the, f- the first game and they were breaking up into multiple pieces a lot of people were like well, so they're just doing this so they can charge you sixty bucks instead of like twenty bucks or whatever and I was like well no let's see the way this goes I beat it I was like no I still think it was worth sixty let's see where this goes I don't know anymore I I I am very 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 wary of what i'm gonna see with part two that it's not just gonna be okay gang so we're showing up at junon and then we're gonna go to uh uh fucking cosmo canyon but then if they end the cosmo canyon maybe naki's dad is alive and like that's the big twist and so it's like you get what i'm saying i'm worried that it's not really going to be different uh, uh, let just me put it this that way. as a carrot on a stick let me put it this way. Does it feel weird to you that this game that was already slated to be like an episodic kind of like series of games, does it feel weird that these episodic games are breaking into further mini episodes? Yeah, that's also maybe like, like if you're going to charge for multiple chapters as they come out for a, for at least two games that like, I mean, literally you could buy Final Fantasy seven on the original on like multiple platforms. Um, oh, that was the other bittersweet thing. This confirmed that we're probably we're never getting a fucking Crisis Core remake. This is the yeah. Crisis Core remake. We're never getting it. I it's will say actually... one. I will say say one piece of heresy before I toss it to Corey and Dom. Uh, I like the Crisis Core story. I don't. I'm not sure if I'd ever want to play the game again though. But if uh, they Corey... gave it the gameplay from remake, it would have been fantastic. Yeah. Yes. But it's like obviously with stuff that's happened in remake. Will we ever get that crazy? Like I'm, I, I, I know it's We're like not. a year, a, a year old. But We're the not. ending of remake does some shit, so I'm not going to say anything because I feel like you need to go into it as blind as you possibly can. But it's like, I feel like it's we need that Crisis Core remake, or at We're least not gonna get it, no. or at Train least has left the station, or yeah. or at least they do what they did with the Kingdom Hearts, some of the Kingdom Hearts games, where they just did cutscenes only. They're not going to. I yeah, I mean, but you, YouTube to. exists. It's it's a good enough substitute. Uh, Corey, what do you what are your thoughts? Are you a big Final Fantasy guy? All, all uh, I got to tell you, most of this stuff is going way over my head because I I was never <laughs> super into Final Fantasy. I honestly like my sister in law is super into Final Fantasy, and I get all of the all of the stuff like about Final Fantasy from her. Um, I like Final Fantasy, but my first introduction to anything square enix was honestly kingdom hearts when i was 12 years old so yeah <laughs> Corey, just look up gax gax the fuck do you pronounce just, the guy's name? Google, just google search gacked yeah just Don't google search gacked which while wow, very quick looking for the dirty cerberus song gacked is 45 jesus christ okay. i thought he was older what about um what about no, you Dom? He's 45 years old you're not much of a final fantasy guy either so yeah, does, does no, any of this mean uh, anything to you, Dom? Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> everything's kind of going in my head. The names sound cool. The places <laughs> sound cool. Uh, episodic games sounds like a money grab. Uh, let's see, what else is in your notes? Dom's uh, on my side. Y'all heard it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. I mean, if you're confused, just you should play Kingdom Hearts. 
I mean, yeah, I haven't even touched that either. So, I mean, hate, how don't could hate you? Me. Don't hate me. Final Fantasy VII is the new Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts has. King, let me just say this one thing: Kingdom Hearts has never been more accessible today than it that yes. like in all of history. Like it's so accessible now. Places. You can access it on your it. favorite <laughs> PC platform, the Epic Game Store. <laughs> so I'm just going to say this now. Mainly besides Pokemon, I just play sports games and party games. So I don't know how much help I'm going to be, but I mean, you can still ask for my opinion, and I'll give you. Whatever answer I could come up with off the top of my head. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Okay, what if what if what if we told you Final Fantasy, but you but you had a gun and you were a vampire? How do we, how would that feel to you? He doesn't know what Final Fantasy is. But so. out of context. Out of context. Out of context I, I, I'm a vampire Final with Fantasy a gun. A gun and a vampire. So do I get to play as the this uh, yes. vampire wielding yes. cats. Hmm. And there's also a talking cat that pilots a man suit. <laughs> Interesting. Technically, <laughs> te- <this> cat. <laughs> te- technically uh, Final Fantasy X is a sports game because you play water soccer. Right? Oh, not Blitzball! <laughs> One of your teammates' weapon Do of choice I am intrigued a- now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be- Don't underestimate a Blitzball. That's, that's Waka's main method of attack and it's, oh, it's fucking deadly. <laughs> but uh, to uh, ask, uh, answer your question, Sarah, I am intrigued by like the premise of just a vampire with a gun. I don't know what I would be doing, but I am intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's all you need to know. In your the sad your part, gun. though, is that like you think it's going to be like, oh, is that like Helsing? And it's like, I mean, kind of, but it takes itself too seriously. Wait, which game? Like, Under the game, the and. Dirge of Cerberus, the game, and I'm talking about the anime Helsing, because that's also about. Oh, the- I didn't even. Think but about isn't there? But isn't there a game? Isn't there a game coming out where you literally like it's like the old west and you're fighting like creatures of the night or something like that? Isn't it oh, called yeah, yeah, like, yeah. the Weird West or something? The Weird yeah. Weird game that I thought was like a. Uh, I thought it was a reboot of Dark Watch, and I was. That's right. oh my god! Yes, <laughs> you know what Dark Watch is, Blaine. I love I you. Do. Oh my god! I wish. Yes, I Dark that. Watch. All right. Oh, I have no weapon. Right. I think we dark watch fan cast now. Yes, I think we're all done with Final Fantasy. Wait, I have um, one more thing to say about Final Fantasy. Please, yes, shoot. How, how many total games are there? Oh no! Uh, oh no! Uh, oh, no. Uh, just, just, oh, no. just quick. Just give me a number. That's uh, it. No. That's all I ask. You know, I'll put my like more than twenty. One four movies. Like more than more four. Than- Possibly more than thirty. There's so okay, many. I never spin-offs. touch Final Fantasy ever again after hey, today. Uh, many there's so many spinoffs that, too. Uh, <laughs> like Final Fantasy Crystals, that that series is a whole spinoff series, and like, all right, we, we gotta yeah. move. Did, you asked the worst possible Did I make question. A mistake by asking that. <laughs> you made a grave mistake. You'd be better. You'd be better off asking how many Kingdom Hearts games there are. Yeah, yeah that, three. that'd be an easier question. <laughs> Um, oh, there's more than anyway. Oh, there's so Wait, much more. Wait, time out. What? <laughs> oh, no. So, so Kingdom Hearts came out. And you sad no, fool. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, wait. No, we got to move on. Out. And then Dragon nope. Hearts 2 came out. And then, oh, and then there's also Birth, birth, birth by <laughs> next, Sleep. Don't forget next that. Next new Very story. <laughs> oh, and then there's, <laughs> then there's, and, then there's 2.8. Then there's 2.8. Uh, and then there's also 2.9. <laughs> I hate you guys so much. I'm sorry, I remember, Jose. I remember when 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue got revealed. No. First I'm sorry, was Final it? Chapter no, 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 Prologue? No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> you, know, you know what, Dom? This this, this happens every single time Kingdom no. Hearts comes up. Jose, you're going to love this. Just let me finish this thought. <laughs> I remember when Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue got revealed, and the entire day, I was convinced that someone photoshopped a fake Kingdom Hearts like promo image, and that everyone was just retweeting a goof. And then the next day, I, I go, wait, it's real? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am not making this up. That is 100% what happened. Don't forget zero. This is 0. 0.2. There was also. Oh, there. yeah. 0.2, <laughs> a fragmentary <laughs> passage, birth oh, by okay. sleep. Okay. <laughs> now, now we definitely <laughs> got to move about on. What about Xcode? Come up with more no, Xcode no, on no, Japanese no, mobile no, no, no. In Dark Road. It's very important. All right. All right. We got to move on, guys. Anyways. Come on. Right. Moving on. Moving on.